Now we'll see the assembly components. And now we'll see the SMD technology. What is SMD? Surface Mount Device. So surface mount device is the new technology used in mobile phone boards or laptop boards and all small tiny motherboards. Even in iPads, we will have this SMD technology. Normally, the boards are having punch holes and the components are placed like this. And it has been soldered. But in SMD type technology board, motherboard, the components are placed on the surface of the board. So that's why we call this technology as surface mount devices. Surface mount technology. Right, so this is the motherboard surface and these are the components fixed on the motherboard. So this can be considered as the surface and since the devices are mounted on the surface, we call this a surface mount devices. So with the help of this technology, we can make all the gadgets in a tiny small area. We can adopt it, we can integrate it into a small tiny areas. And all the resistor, capacitor, inductor, diode, transistor, everything looks like this. So in assembly type of uh, components, you can say this as resistor, this is capacitor, this is inductor, this is diode. So we can find the difference between all these components. How we can find the difference is this have some colors here are the contact areas are present the capacitor color is sandal color golden sandal color or gray color or blue sandal And the resistor color can be of black. And the inductor is of white, blue or copper. Normal transparent color. And diode is also black in color. So if resistor and capacitor both are black in color, how can we differentiate the resistor and capacitor? So the diode is somewhat thick when compared to the resistor. Sometimes it's vice versa also. So the diode may be thin and this may be thick and the place where we can use the diode and the resistor shows the difference so you should know where you can make use of the diode and the resistor in power area we can use the diode mostly and the capacitors are used there and some and very few resistors are used right so if it is a power area 
diodes may be present and if it is a signal or the battery related areas will have all these components right we have already seen what is resistor capacitor diode and inductor what is its function each and every components working principle and function have explained so with those things we can easily find the diode and inductor resistor and capacitor the place where can be installed in the motherboard and the resistor similarly has three terminals so this is the transistor which is having three terminals emitter base and collector so it's easily we can find and the voltage regulator voltage regulator is of a different types so initially we have three pins this is common right here we have pin 1 2 and 3 input output and ground right so these are the components in the smd technology so we can find the difference in all these components and easily measure the value with the help of the multimeter we should know what is multimeter we should know all the components details how to measure with the help of multimeter now we'll, we are going to see what will be the observed value if you are measuring with the help of multimeter so now we'll see the testing of components using multimeter usage of multimeter so for resistance it gives the value of the resistance if it has been set in the diode mode or in the continuity buzzer mode it gives the exact value of the resistor or we can tune it accordingly with the resistance mode for capacitor in one direction so this is capacitor if you are connecting the plus and minus here the meter value shows the increased value low to high if you are connecting like this the value changed from high to low so it shows from the battery supply the capacitor gets some DC voltage stored in it and when you reverse the supply it tries to distort it that's what the function of a capacitor so this is how we can check the capacitor value and the inductor In buzzer mode, it gives ring sound. Some big sound will come if the inductor is working fine. The sound is not there if, if it is blind. Then we will find the inductor is not working. Right, so these are the values to find whether the components are working or not. Right, if you get some value, the resistor is working fine. If you get the value like this with these polarity symbols, the capacitor is working fine. And one main 
important thing is the beep sound should never come while we check the capacitor no beep sound should come no beep sound should come while you check the capacitor value and for inductor beep sound will be there and along with that it shows the some resistor value right and while we checking the diode so in this direction it will work anode to cathode it shows the value of resistance between this range three fifty volts to five fifty ohms range. So the diode value should be between this. If it is more than this or if it is very lesser than this, then the diode is not working. So that is the condition we can find. So this value shows the diode is working good. And for LED, if you are connecting plus and minus probe, red and black probe like this, the LED will glow. If it is not glowing, the LED is not working it seems. Right, so this is how you can make use of the multimeter to check the components. So basic components. So other than this, you can have a transistor, you can have the voltage regulator. Voltage regulator, you can keep the multimeter point in one ground connection and the positive probe in the output line you will get the exact output voltage what the regulator voltage is mentioned if it is of 2.1 volt the output should be 2.1 if it is of 3.5 volt the output should be 3.5 volt so that is how you can make use of the multimeter so once you are familiar by measuring all these uh, basic components it is easy for you to go with the other components measurements. So we can easily observe the value of the other components. Even transistor you can check, you can check the zener diode, you can check the flashlight, you can check the vibrator, the power supply switch, mobile phones or power switch, you can even check the USB, C type connector or D type connector anything whatever you want if you know the usage of multimeter you can easily check the values of the parts and the components and it is easy to find whether it is working or not that is the main thing right next we'll see the mobile hardware replaceable parts and testing